Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, capture, capture, capture. It knows it wants to. It knows it's trying to. There we go. Oh, oh, I need that. <laughs> Actually, I think... Nope, nope. Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope your day has been awesome. It's gone for my late Wednesday and then back to our regular scheduled programming later in the week. Uh, no real announcements. I may not be on Friday. We'll see about that. Uh, other than that though, let's hop right back into some more Nino Kuni. Irashai. I got some friends on too that I'm going to join. That I want to try and there we go. Yo. Yellow. Hello. Hello. There we go. I guess my mic wasn't working. How wide is the falcon? Like two feet? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck! I'll have to look again. That's pretty wide. Yeah, I'd say about two feet, two and a half. Okay, I'll have to get some measurements and figure out where we're gonna put this damn thing. Oh, so it's happening. Yep. Nice. I haven't bought it yet, but it will be. Nice. Told Katie, I was like, uh, this is happening, so just accept it. <laughs> I worked it out. The math works. <laughs> Did you talk to What's Your Face? I'm streaming, so I won't say it out loud. Hold on, I can't hear you. Fuck me. Get away, you son of a bitch. Let's see some side quests. Did you say, did I talk to who? To uh, what's her face? I didn't say her name because of uh, Lori streaming. <laughs> but okay, yeah. Okay, there's lots of Lori's in yeah, the world. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, yes, I did. Konnichiwa. Yeah. Fuck. Do I have nothing for this? Huh. <sighs> There, what the fuck? Oh my gosh. Car about date. Boy. <laughs> Alright, this one I'll definitely go.
Hello. Legit to quit. It is too. <laughs> that makes you think of Hot Rod. <laughs> um, love that movie. Too legit. Mm? Too Fuck. Legit. Um. Um. Oh, uh, nope, nothing this way. There's a turret? Where the fuck's the turret? Why are you saying turret? There's no turret where I'm pointing. Are you still playing Prey? Yeah. Turrets? Yeah. Oh. It's kind of cool. There's like lots of different ways to kill your enemies. Interesting. Shit. Boy. Uh. <laughs> Fuck, it's full, dude. <laughs> Balls. Ah, run away! Boy. Um, um, um. <laughs> Fuck. Really? Game can't do a wield. <laughs> Game sucks. There's <sighs> no fucking thingy my poppers over here. It's stupid. Ooh, I can't go down though. Ah. Oh god damn it, they're everywhere. Ah, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> If I had better aim, that would have gone a lot better. And it's crappy, whatever it is. How long ago did I wait first? Oh wait, this.
Really, you can see me? Go away. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Oh, really? You said you have no idea what you're capable of? What did you say? I was asking if you, you, like, you were saying you have no idea what you're capable of, or they don't have an idea. No, they don't have an idea what I'm capable of. Yeah. I don't know what I'm capable of either, but. <laughs> no oh shit! There you are. God damn it! Let's find some side quests. Oh, that was rude. I can't remember the headline, but who was it that just that shrugged off a 101 mile an hour pitch back to his stomach? Portolo Cologne. Oh, of course he did. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, what do you hear? Yeah, he said it didn't even hurt him. That's crazy. Yeah, no, Clubhouse, he's got a fat welt. He's got a fat belly, that's what stopped it. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's nothing there for me to grab, so let's try it. Oh, there's a big face. Let's do Ding Dong Dell. Can I find this kind of neural mods? Engineer. Extra inventory space. That's kind of so neat. <laughs> wow. God damn it. I think I'm uh, looking to. Have you guys done that Laurel and Yanni thing yet? Yes, it's Yanni. Yours says Yanni? Yep. Mine's Laurel. What? I'm what, curious if there's two versions going around. Or if there's two no. frequencies that are more susceptible to each person. No. Oh, what's the thing behind it then? Katie said it was something about if you hear Laurel, uh, you're uh, right brained. If you hear Yanni, you're left brained. Laurel is right brained, Yanni is left brained. Right brained is the I analytical, case, right? Katie said it, I think so. I think left brain's analytical and the right brain is like creative. Yeah. Katie was saying it was like designed you know, by a computer and scientists and all that shit. Interesting. Yeah. Yep, I hear Yanni. It makes me wonder, like, like if that kind of thing happens, then like, mm -hmm. when it comes to like, like say we're playing a game together and you you heard something and I didn't. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that has something to do with the different hemispheres in the brains too. Uh. Maybe. Ano. Subakuro ja.
また来るんじゃぞおいつばくろじゃまた来るんじゃぞうん<笑>ね、Alrighty then. Well, what happened?、Oh. I got a Hunter's Bowcaster. <laughs> it fires foam bolts that do no damage. Huh. Okay. It's mainly、yeah. to like distract things or turn things on from afar. And did、that. we get Prey for free? Or did you buy it? Nope. I bought it. It's 15 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> right. Digital? Eh? Nope. Oh. Shit balls. Nope, I just go on. I'm part of the PS4 deals on subreddit and like yeah, just the video、same. games deals. Yeah. This was on the PS4 deals. I was like, it、yeah, looks like a good game. I need a game to play. And so far, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think it did well. <laughs> All that shit again. Fine. Fine, I'll do it again. It's got a pretty good upgrade system and crafting system and. Kill. <coughs> yeah. Hmm? よろしくやあ<笑> Do I fucking do any damage to him? Did he go upstairs? So it's not horror at all, it's more just straight suspenseful? It's a lot more suspenseful, cause it's like. There's aliens that can be like just turn into objects, but you you have there's like a noise when you're near one, so it's not like you're just by an empty chair and all of a sudden you're getting attacked.、Mm -hmm. Takes a little getting used to, and I'm fighting an enemy that's really fucking strong. I'm also like really injured, so he keeps kicking my ass. But it's a lot more like suspense and jump scare, if anything. It's not like <laughs> horror. Yeah. Hello. That's what I think of when you type it like that. Of course, he's fucking not hurt at all. God damn, dude, this shit hurts. Oh, there's suit integrity. Uh... uh oh. Someone should still be in the slump since we liberated. Oh, I might be a little drunk. <laughs> yeah, no one's here.
Damn, that shit's fucking quick. Really? Nothing here. Surprising. that <gasps> Ooh. sure this is kind of scary you playing uh Nino Kuni scary isn't there much higher level than me Ooh, so this guy is scary, he's a fucking troll looking thing. I watched the Clueless Gamer, he does a little bill hater for God of War. It's alright. I don't know if funny to watch that just because of Bill Hader. They, they made a they, they basically made fun of it a lot. That's what he does. The one that I found really cringeworthy was Cuphead with, uh, what's-her-face. I didn't see the Cuphead one. It was, uh... <laughs> I just stuck my axe in his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. What's her name? Oh, Justin Clark? Verlander's wife. Oh. Oh, the model? Justin Verlander's yeah. wife. Uh, like Kate Upton? Yes. He does it with her, and like all he does is hit on her the entire time. And she's <laughs> yeah, like, like, eh. Calm down, Conan. Calm down. Basically, I was like, that's super cringeworthy. Like, and he doesn't even really hit on her in a clever way. It's just like, ah, big boobs, meh. This show's getting knocked down to 30 minutes. What? Yeah. I wonder why. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's just not getting the ratings. He's on cable, so he's not gonna get the same ratings as like yeah. Jimmy and what's his face. Jimmy, oh, that's Jimmy sucks. and James Corden. James Corden, I was thinking of, uh... Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, Colbert. Here, look, Colbert. Oops. Uh, James Corden doesn't get that good ratings, as far as I know. All the follow-up guys don't. Of the follow-up guys, Seth Meyers is my favorite.
Something tells me if I beat all these, that guy It's a bad damn fish. Should be worth it. <laughs> that worked. We're fine. Shit, not what I want. Yes, I know it is. Cool, let me just waste my entire awakening. Oh, Ow. that was loud. You look still there, Colin? Yeah. Did you hear that, that loud scratchy noise? Time? No. Possibly you, though. Vinny and I heard it. I, I literally, like, didn't move when you guys did out. Either that or I did hear it, but I didn't notice it, because my game has lots of loud scratchy noises. Um. Oh, hey, look at the trip thingy. Oh, I keep forgetting to change my tweaker. Of your mom. Lovely. Ooh. And an itty bitty yellow polka dot bikini. It's a teeny weeny, it's itty bitty yellow polka dot bikini. Or itty bitty teeny weeny, I don't know. There's teeny weeny in there somewhere. <laughs> I didn't know yes. Jim and Dwight were in Star Wars. <laughs> Kinda looks like that. The fuck? Oh. <clears throat> I awesome. guess I need to watch more of The Office. It's just that Chewie has glasses on and then that picture of him zoomed in. Level 68 tropical fangfish, no thank you. I'm gonna see how that looks like Dwight though. Just cause he's got glasses. You can tell. Here's part of it. I'm gonna try to change my tweaker again. Tails are there. 
I'm, um... Hey, look who it is. Yay. Oh, look. We got some fun games in here. Dude, it's not calling that you played Prey and enjoyed it. Did you, yeah, I really did you platinum Prey. it? Like, yeah, I did. I played to, like, through it like four it. times. Yeah, just to platinum it? Yeah. yeah. It was pretty fun because each playthrough was a, like a different... It changed oh, the it way like, the game played. Um, uh, near? I never played near. Like in near, you play as a person, and then the second playthrough you play as a different person, and the third playthrough you play as a different person, and they each have different mechanics and how no. they fight, and then in the third one you play as a multitude of them all. No, it's not that. It's just the trophies caused you to play it in different ways. So mm -hmm. like, like one trophy you had to play through using only human powers. And so that fundamentally changed the way you play the game. And then there were different endings based on how you played it. So you could play through like saving all, like not killing anybody, you could play through killing anybody. Um, and so yeah, there were several different ways of playing through the game. So it was pretty interesting. And like you choose one set of powers and it locks out other powers. So you have to find a different way of getting through doors and getting to different areas of the station that would be easy with other powers. It was it was pretty fun how it like restriction change it. Gotcha. There was one like I had to do no power at all. That was brutal. God, I had to use I was like platforming with this like Blue band thing. It's so difficult. What was that called? I love that gun. If you're doing like a no needles run, you use that thing so often to reach places that you could normally reach with like the human upgrades or the prey upgrades. Like, I had to climb up this elevator shaft using it once, and oh my god, it was so frustrating. So I was doing my no needle run, and... I was doing my no needle run at the same time. It was... I think it was find all the employees, so I was looking for one. No, I was doing that in type in one. Ah, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna use my tactic tweaker. Alright. This would be up for. Oh, kitty. Oh, wait, okay, so there's elements and then there's status effects. Oh, we got perfect status effects. Oh, okay. Huh. <sighs> Oh, 
How long is the game, Cameron? It's pretty long. You go to every section of the station. I think you go to every section. Like even if you're doing like a like a for fun run through, you need to hit every section. So yeah, it's pretty long. What uh, what section are you in right now? I'm still in the beginning. Are you still in the Neuromod division? I think so. I just I'm looking. My main objective is through a glassy dark room find Dr. Calvino's workshop. That's right. Oh, Doctor Telby knows what's up. Oh yeah, you're you're like right at the beginning. Yeah, I yeah I haven't played much at all. Oh, actually, Calvino's workshop is over in the hardware labs. Yeah. Yeah, you're still right at the beginning. God, I'm seeing an eight way. Because there. there are a lot of sections. There's the Arboretum, the Crew Quarters, Life Support. I have Only four more to system go. fabrication plan. There's an Archive but somewhere in the machine shop hardware labs. Awesome. You're looking for his keycard? I found him and his keycard, now I need to get the propulsion system so I can go to the breach and get him. Oh, gotcha. So you're trying to re re restore the looking glass server, right? Yeah. Okay. How'd you like the beginning? Did, that, did, that, did you look up the beginning before you started? Did it take you quite a surprise? No, I didn't look, I didn't look up anything about it. Yeah, I was definitely like, what the f fuck? <laughs> Did you just uh, like, like, swing your hammer at the, the side of the glass door for that one? The... yeah. Sure. <laughs> and then you just like realized like the whole thing you did was just move from one room to another like right next to each other. Yeah, I was just like... <laughs> I was like, I thought you were on the moon in this game. It's like, oh... <laughs> Fuck you! I mean, technically the, the space station's in orbit around Earth. <laughs> oh, I thought it was on the moon. No, no, it's a spa it's a free stand a huge oh, space station or orbiting Earth. You'll get to like zoom around outside and you'll see just how massive it is. Oh, rock. that was not a wall. That was uh, there was a window in that wall. Two more. Two more. Shit, I flipped the power off. <laughs> Whoops. 
Oh no, you need to flip it off for her to get to some areas. Oh, I needed it on for this area. Or you can use the glue gun. Well, I, I turned it off and it disabled the door I needed to get through. Oh. There's always another way through. Okay, disappeared. Like if there's a, uh, I think there's a, a hatch somewhere around. You can also use the glue gun if you ever see, like, broken, sparking, uh, like, electrical panels. Just shoot the yeah. glue gun at it. I think I was hoping not to fight another big one, but alright. <clears throat> Are you going for trophies at all, Colin? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aware of that, buddy. I'm looking, looking for a oh, I'm fucking holding a goddamn glue gun. Uh, <laughs> uh, I scaled like a big ass wall with a glue gun. I was like, this thing is awesome. <laughs> really funny because I was like going I was going for a um, a find a locate all the no it was a it was my kill all member it was kill all people's um, run no no it was save all of them so I'm looking for like these last four people to make sure they're okay and you just find them like in this broom closet somewhere and so everyone's like head cannon as they were like having sex with the whole thing and down in this closet and they're just realizing what's going on because their ID bracelets lead to this closet the whole game until like the very end, and then you find a way to get caught. They have an orgy in the closet. I guess. Anyway, I really liked the beginning of that game. I was playing around with like the shifting room. <laughs> I'm like, no way! Because I noticed that like right away. Uh, because Which one? like at the very beginning, you know how you go down the hallway and all it does is while you're in the, in the elevators, it shifts the room around. Yeah. I I was like holding one of those flashlights and I dropped it like right out of the door and I'm like, why is that still here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And why are there scuff marks on the floor? And I'm like, oh, no way. <laughs> and then you can access a uh, security terminal after all is said and done, and you can like force it to shift back and forth. Oh, I didn't do that. You can even turn the looking glass on for like the helicopter scene. grinding you will ever see me do. I definitely think my raid team is going to be over geared, but I'll take that over under geared. Your raid? Uh, I left Chewy at 8 because I was reading you only need really everybody at 8, so. I'm still getting everyone to nine. That's why. What I are you guys said, rating like, on? Star Wars. <laughs> no, it's not a. On what? No, Ray. It's Star Wars. Oh. Yeah. Not raid. Ray. Oh, I thought you said raid. Oh hell yeah! Give me some fucking med kits. Create. Oh yeah. When I played the game, it, like my very first like fun playthrough, where it was just doing everything, anything, there was a glitch where you could create unlimited materials. I want to know how the fuck to create my uh, fix my suit, like my suit's all damaged. Oh, there's uh, suit repair mods. 
I forget what they look like. Wait. Yeah, like half the time you're just running around freaking damaged. Basically. Or irradiated. But they're everywhere. You should be able to find enough to repair your suit. <sighs> so many yawns. Yes. Talk to Freya like that. I wasn't talking to Freya. Oh. It's not nice to talk to John like that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So rude. Muspelheim. What? <clears throat> I found a cipher for Muspelheim. Niflheim? Muspelheim. 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 Your accent's too thick, Vinny. I know. Ooh, go to Talos Exterior! Whoa! Whoa. What the fuck? Uh, that is the outside. Yep. Eventually, that's the easiest way to freaking move around the stupid station. Is to go out an airlock and go in another airlock, but you have to unlock them from the inside first. <laughs> oh my god, where are these hoe bags at? Where are these bags of hoe at? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite area of that game is the crew quarters. Uh. Hold or roll, those are break, ascend, descend. Only one thing bothered me about that area though is that it doesn't seem like there's Take nearly enough work. like quarters for enough people to run this whole thing. Okay, can I help you? Cathedral Bazaar Hunting Lodge. Saw that you saw that section decompress it like the first time you saw came to that window. Give me all the goodies. Okay, I have hella shotgun shells and no shotgun yet. What the fuck, game? <laughs> Come on. 
I can tell you where to find one. I think I'm gonna get a thing to repair shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> do I have no mods? I do, I got two. Is that enough to get repair things? Oh, I have repair one. I don't have repair two. Damn it. There should be a... Hey, but a, a safe around there too, somewhere. No, no air. It's a, um, it's just like stamina. For speed, like you, I think you go really fast if you hold down both sticks. Market. Which you can increase that one of the Neuromon skills. I played way too much of that game. I started to get like super invested in these people that were dying and then I'd find like bodies. And I'm like, oh no, that's where they went. Oh, there's the man. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck is the airlock I came out of? <laughs> Did you find the, um, the recycler lab? Where, the recycler charge lab? Where they were testing the, um, the recycler charges? They're those grenades that turn everything into material? I just picked up some of those grenades, so probably. There's a, like, a flesh-colored ball with a post-it note on it, and it's just the guy, the, like, I think one of the lab technicians is like, I got a little too close to the effect range of the recycle grenade, and this is what's left of my foot. And I'm like, ooh, I touched it. Grab this last one. Hey. Ah, shit. More roots. It will reward it. God, the load times are fucking no joke in this game, though. Oh, yeah, it's kind of frustrating. Longer than Horizon? Uh, pretty on par. Probably because there's so many sections that need to load. Yeah. I really hope they're teasing DLC for that game. This was a triple A game, right? It was 60 bucks when it came out? Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, I found it on sale for 15. Oh, you suck. Mm hmm. We, the patient we game bought it and played it hella days ago. I know. <laughs> I played the shit out of it. Yeah, I was just like, this game looks fun. It's 15 bucks, why not? Yeah, Dr. Calvino's workshop, motherfucker! Whoa! I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm here now. Suck it! Yeah, just don't forget to pick up his key card. I found I forgot to pick it up the first time, and I wanted to go all the oh, way Oh yeah, down. I got it. I'm in his workshop right now. Oh, you actually went in. Okay. Yeah, fire up that looking glass server. Oh, that's right, I'm here because I need to watch my video. <laughs> Medkit, motherfucker! He's a stash of neuromods in there too, don't forget to grab them. 
Don't they star you guys? Oh my gosh. I need me some of that neuro mod. I think the combat's interesting. Yeah, there's like all different kinds of ways to approach it. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> of course, after a while, I just had like my shotgun upgraded and I just like psh, one shot everything. That is the ideal. Yeah, upgraded the shotgun, upgraded all the human like weapon strengthening ones. The shock pistol is supposed to be super overpowered too. For mechanical monsters. Which apparent didn't figure that out until like way later. Not finding his neuro mods. Hidden pretty well. Oh, that's see through on this side? Ah. Where did you hide your neuro mods, motherfucker? Watch when it, watch the videos he has. Oh. Jeez. Like the looking glass screens hide a lot of secrets. It's really fun. Also, make sure you explore his quarters later, way later. It's kind of uh, fun to the story. Ah! Oh, there we go. Dang it. Sorry. I should get run faster. Konnichiwa. <laughs> eh? Fuck. Eh? So I gotta head back to my office. Oh, did you find the Nermods? Uh, no, I found the uh, just oh. the looking glass server. Do you want me to tell you where they are? Or do you want to keep looking? Hold on, I'll look. I have an idea. What? I have an idea. Oh, okay. And... No, but there's that one is there. I am gonna be right back.